You can't see it. It doesn't work yet. Drewby needs. It's not for you. Drewby needs to get it approved. It's not for me. We put a bunch of sound effects on Twitch, and uh, and uh, people were paying like twenty five cents to use them. It's uh, yeah, it's it's nonsense. I don't don't disagree. I mean, can we open a Patreon so they can just give us money directly if they're that dumb? I mean, we could, <laughs> but we've kind of resisted that temptation. <laughs> Take advantage of their stupidity. Yeah, we're hey, streaming, I, by the way. So. Well, yeah, I just turned it on, as you said. <laughs> they don't know what we're talking about if you just turn it on. <laughs> yeah, well, and it, they don't necessarily... They think me. we're talking about, like, Vikings fans. Yeah, uh, we are talking about true. Vikings fans, for the record. Hey, wait, wait. Wait, I'm not one of them anyway. Never mind. Hey, you're not a Viking. You keep insisting you're not a Vikings fan. Sure. Then every time we say Vikings fans, you're like, no. Well, well, no, we, like we don't believe that. Towards me, regardless. Okay. How was, it, how, how, <laughs> how was everyone's week? Delightful. Good. Yeah, fancy. It was good. It was fancy. Wow. Okay, I I have to add the the stuff from the last time we played. Uh, yeah, I don't remember if I did that either. Uh, you can I look sure back. Did. You can look back in the history of your um, character sheet and figure it out. <laughs> well, I just used by dates, and the last time you posted anything was seven twenty three. So, and the last yep. time I updated something was six seventeen. Well, then you probably didn't take your. Uh... Yeah, I see seven twenty three as well. If I look at Shale's version history, I can see that on July 24th, he gave himself three experience points. Version history okay. super cool, guys. That's yeah. I have the Norland style XP log as well. Yeah. 723. Was 723 the Sunday? Oh shit, Oblivious is streaming. 723 was the Monday. 722. Okay. 22, yeah. Well, yeah, the 23rd was when Mac posted on the thing. That's when I put them on. Oh, I suppose I could just look and see that it says session 17, and that's how I track it. So, there. So quiet. Is within that going? Uh, I turned it on. You you might have it muted or something. Uh, hello. Oh, I'm, I'm in the process of uh, getting to the stream so I can see people's comments. Here we go. We're down seven. How in Windows to get four windows on my screen? Oh. Oblivious streams world of darkness. There. Now everyone will know what we're streaming. Yeah, instead of Gulf. Yeah. Okay. Welcome. It's mage time. Thank you. So Norlin texted me and told me that he had done a nice write-up of our previous session. Yeah. So we I actually probably... had had to rewatch the stream because I didn't remember half of what happened. Well, it was over a month ago now, so. Yes. And also listening to it, I there was at least one part where I was like, "Did I pass out? Like, why don't I remember this <laughs> happening?" <laughs> well, give us the rundown. All right. So previously on Oblivious Incorporated, after being punched ah! slightly more than necessary, sorry. Jesus, what was that? That was my keyboard. <laughs> Is that part of the write-up? <laughs> yes. Oh. It was my keyboard scraping on my desk. I'm very sorry. What is your keyboard and your desk made out of? <laughs> is your keyboard made out of what? fingernails? And your desk made out of <laughs> the keyboard is made out of small girls and the desk is made out of puppies. Well, I'm already terrified. But you should give All me right. a point. Oh. That's a good start. Okay. After being punched slightly more than necessary, Honey Badger began a second awakening. He woke up in an elevator and assumed the fetal position. <laughs> Despite Honey Badger's attempts to go to the fourth floor, including a reach around for Philip, the elevator operator. That's not true. Yes. <laughs> it <laughs> happened. <laughs> the elevator traveled down through several levels of hell, including Dark Lands, Heat Zone, Flavor Town, and Space Madness. <laughs> what, what the hell is Flavor Town? 
I just added that one. For oh, okay. <laughs> Honey <laughs> Badger met and defeated every obstacle handily, except the first. <laughs> the second and the third. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yoder's bone knife got a real boner oh. for finishing Honey Badger off. The vote went 2-1 to one against letting that happen. <laughs> Unless we count Apple White, which we do not. No. Uh, Merovingian used Prime Magic to set an intensifying white light on Honey Badger's face. The... He then decided to drive the Grease Mobile to Paradigm <laughs> Solutions to get some help. Uh, Ender slacked off on Reddit, got some AOL mail, and through a feat of superhuman computer skills and intelligence, noticed that he had a Reddit nof- notification. Wow. What a guy. Apple White pulled some Klingon nerd shit, and even Ender <laughs> thought that he should tone it down. <laughs> <laughs> Tough law. Yep. Meanwhile, Ender wanted to put Honey Badger in the um, Paradigm Solutions elevator for a fourth wall breaking reasons, <laughs> which we did not do. Um, Ender and Yoder vindicated themselves after the bucket incident and had no trouble carrying Honey Badger inside. <sighs> Valley High was no help at all for Honey Badger. Merovingian thought it was now or never if we wanted to help him, so the group Indeed. used our combined powers. <laughs> To travel to the supernatural realm and help Honey Badger. Apple White was definitely going to keep his hands to himself. <laughs> Honey Badger reached the swamp of sadness and was given an envelope <laughs> by a future incarnation of himself, or possibly Juby. No one was really sure. <laughs> future Honey Badger kicked him out of the elevator. Honey Badger found an obelisk in the middle of the swamp, magicked up his shoes, and started mule kicking because of reasons. He loosened the brick, failed to read the mysterious runes, also known as English, on the brick, and chucked it <laughs> at the rest of the group when they arrived. Honey Badger pulled out a magic marker from the envelope, and Merovingian analyzed the joke to death. The, the Wing terrors were flying overhead menacingly. Honey Badger finally signed his name to the obelisk in a nice empty spot and was awoken. Everyone wakes up in the Grease Mobile. Applewhite was startled and escaped before finishing his work. <laughs> Honey Badger heals. <laughs> no. Yoder heals Honey Badger with life magic, waking him up, and his knife decides to relax. Will our. In this episode, will our heroes defeat the tentacle? Will Ender check his email? Will Juby find the hidden horde? Find out this week on Oblivious Incorporated. Yay! Yay! You know what? The, the creative writing and everything? I mean, that's like two bonus experience points. That's Oh, nice. <laughs> well, that shit. Impressive. I knew that was it. Oh, yeah. Well, there's quite a bit of editorializing, a lot of adjectives in there. That was yeah. it's impressive. Yeah, that, that pretty much encompasses the whole of, uh, of what happened last time. Um, hmm? Maddie got hit. What? She was... Sorry. Oh, boy. Children. It begins. Parenting break. No, parenting break. <laughs> so, there, so, so, back at the boathouse. Back at the boathouse. Jesus, Drew, mute yourself while you're talking to your child. Okay. Your screen won't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> they like it. <laughs> so, back at the boathouse. Uh, I'm, 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 I've got a few notes here myself. Um, you blew up one of the creatures with a lightning strike, and all of its limbs popped off, and you kept them. You you collected at least one or two of them and kept them. I definitely kept an arm. Yeah, okay. All right, and then uh, let's see. What else do we want to follow up on? Uh, Dewey's vibrating bone knife is probably something to follow up on. Um, Timmy's Reddit message is probably something to follow up on. So where are you right now? You're in uh, you're 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 in the uh, the the grease mobile. We're in the grease mobile, like parked right in front of Paradigm Solutions. Yeah. I thought you guys drove to the library, but it wasn't open. We were thinking of, but we decided not to. No, I got I, I got a tingle of common sense before you, we yeah. actually did that. Yeah, you were gonna oh, drive you, middle you, of the you, night you, and bookstores aren't open. You were gonna drive over to Daydream. <laughs> yeah. And look, you know what? Speaking of Daydream, let me pull up a link that I have for you guys. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. It's a new link. Isn't that exciting? 
It's a freaking. Where's it going? I uh, well, you know what? Meatspin.com. <laughs> no, no I mean, where are you going to put it? Are you going to put it in that meatspin? Dot com. <laughs> um, how do I share this? Share. I will get a shareable link. Okay. Use so it I'm your gonna, AOL now I'm gonna put it in the general chat here on Discord, and you may click, and I will oh, also open it. You I need permission. I make, I make. You I need am permission. requesting access. Oh my God. Okay, it's a, I thought it was anyone with the link can access it, but perhaps nope. not. I requested access as well. <laughs> anyone so with the link can request access. Uh, also, my uh, browser window is weird okay. and yellow. Okay, refresh. Refresh. Viewers, the link is drive.google.com <laughs> slash open <laughs> question mark ID equals Stop uh, it! <laughs> <laughs> I like this map. map thing. That's hey! Cool. Why nice. didn't you just put this on the app roll 20 because it won't work right because it's not interactive if it's on if it's a picture on roll 20 that's true Ooh, this is interactive. oh it's we're interacting this is google maps my friend so, oh so this is the stuff you talk about when you say you prepare things <laughs> well, I like how you yeah. mark camp randall that's good yeah and, and it says <laughs> why is it marked is it important oh. you just have to see so, rosa I would like to go to Camp Randall. It's nighttime. They probably won't mind. It's marked on my map. Must be important. <laughs> so I, I thought it was probably a good idea to get some some landmarks for all the places you've been. So so far you've been to Paradigm Solutions, uh, which is right on the sort of around the circle there, uh, around the capital. Um, Daydream is is where you were gonna zip off. It's not far away. It's like three four blocks away. You were gonna head there with. Um, with uh, Sammy's inert form, but yes, some common sense prevailed, and you realized she was probably not hanging out there at you know ten, eleven p.m. I zoomed out. There was no pegs on uh, Sudbury or anything north. <laughs> <laughs> There's a separate map for Sudbury. I've got, I, there I, was I, one I, in Asia, though. <laughs> and then yes, the weapon store was a block and a half from there, and it's named Plunderosa. Um, nice. And then way over on the other side of wow. UW territory is the uh, the boathouse you guys were at. And the, I like the that you home. marked the boathouse and the house in front of the boathouse. <laughs> well, the the boathouse is. The, the, mute yourself. The, mute mute yourself, please. <laughs> Your children. Yeah, but no, the, the boathouse is a separate entity from the home of the people who own the boathouse. I agree. I understand. If you, if I, you, I like that you did it. I think if, it's important. Yeah, it might be. I mean, if you expand, if you go to the bottom of the, the, the key on the left and expand base map and click on the satellite. Yeah, you, there actually you, is the boathouse. You there. can actually see that that is where the boathouse is. That's exactly how I imagined it. Yeah, I, I figured. I wanted it to be immersive, you know? Okay, so you're near the green marker, and uh, it's yeah, it's like a, it's like ten, eleven p.m. Um, so you tell me what you'd like to do at this point. Um, um, so my Reddit no notification was a post from Allison. Yes. What? Which is just a YouTube of a Frank Sinatra song, which was hold on, let me refresh my memory. <laughs> It's a Frank Sinatra uh, song with some moment of lyrics. By yeah. Frank Sinatra. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's play that real quick. You know, we don't have to listen to the whole thing, but you know. It's a great song. It's a good song. Oh yeah. Go Frank. Can't hear anything. I feel like Go. I should be hearing something. Rhythm bot's playing it. Nope, it's not. Come on. Come on, For you. Go. You did oh. it wrong. Yeah, rhythm by this oh, Okay, well, let me send you guys a link then, and you can click on it however you I'll, like. I'll just, I can play it through the Twitch stream. That's there what I'm go. doing on YouTube. I thought Rhythmbot would, would, would play that and not betray me. It, it says it was added You're to the queue on my... Well, that's screen. not what we want. Position in queue 18. <laughs> okay. <laughs> play 18. I saw you. Oh no. 
The opening line is, I saw you last night and got that old feeling. Yeah. <sighs> Creepy, isn't it? Creepy. So I had a thought. Yeah, what was your thought? I'd like, like to crank up a... Uh, uh, hold on, what was it called? A purposeful AI. I imagine we have images of Allison that we can use to do sort of a... That's a good thought. Camera um, search on, on, on her presence. Let's do an atmospheric fade out on Frank Sinatra and, and start the, uh, the the creepy playlist again. Um, <clears throat> I really got to figure out why I'm not bringing hmm? any of that. Do you have Rhythm Bot muted? Probably. Watermelon. Oh, yeah, he's turned way down. Oh, atmospheric. Why is Drewby saying watermelon? You know, Drewby's going to Drewby. <laughs> That's true. I don't know why why I even asked. <laughs> watermelon. What watermelon? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they go to bed in fifteen minutes. We need to get Drew using some push to talk action over there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I muted the stream. The watermelon. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe we can get him one of those shock collars that like when the dog is too loud it zaps him. <laughs> I need to get those from for Drew or his kids. Oh, you know, geez. six of one, half a dozen of the other. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. So yes, ah. uh, Timmy, you got uh, you got the the Reddit message. It's a song with creepy lyrics uh, by Frank Sinatra. The implication yeah. appears to be that uh, <coughs> Allison or Adustus has been following you and stalking you and saw you last night, aka this night. Um, I bet it was the tentacle. I, he's cosplaying. Uh, so your thought your thought was to whip up another purposeful AI and feed it pictures of Allison. Yeah. Um, so uh, let's do something real quick. Um, Allison was a fairly private gal, but you do have some pictures of her. Let's see how many. You have one picture of Allison. <laughs> <laughs> Is it's, it, uh, is it like and he's guy? wearing a costume? <laughs> why don't you roll? <laughs> obscured because you and it's from really far away. Because <laughs> no, Norlin, why don't you see me take it? Norlin, roll uh, just roll three d ten. Roll 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 three. All right. Three. Okay, one more. So you've got the one picture that I rolled is like her Facebook profile picture. Oh. You've you've got that, and now you've got one more. Which what 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 do you suppose it is? It's a, maybe a picture you took on one of your missions at some point. Yeah, she's standing in front of like a haunted house or something. Standing in front of the Ohio Penitentiary. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you've got you, you'll have to zoom in and crop her out, otherwise you'll get a lot of matches for. You know, uh, gay vampires. Haunted houses. Um, uh, but all right, so let's uh, let's pull up the description of. Uh, oh, you don't you don't have purposeful AI as a rote. You're just going to roll. I do rote. not. You're just going to roll uh, noses plus mind. Uh, usually, noses plus mind plus one for my computer slash. Uh, we would do that if it was a Maybe. rote. Okay. But since it's not a rote, it's an improvised spell still, which right. means Gnosis plus mind. I just want to say the last time I rolled seven dice. Yeah, well, last time I was feeling forgiving because you just invented right. a cool spell. All right. Three successes, that's uh, that's enough. So your intent, again, is to feed it these two pictures. Um, yep. And and what? And see if she's been around Madison in the last couple of days. Okay. Um, <clears throat> roll, um, I'm just going to roll for you. Oh boy. Okay. So <laughs> you send this AI out onto the internet with, uh, its library of two pictures and yep. it's running. All right. 10 PM now. So it's running. Who else would like to do something? I have stuff to do. Okay. What would you like to do? I would like to harvest some mana from the task that I have, also from the halo, which is the grease mobile. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Uh, didn't you harvest mana from the Grease Mobile at the end of last session? I think he was going to. I was going to, but we yeah. stopped. Yeah. Oh, stopped okay. before I did it. Well, all you yeah, have I to do for that should... is uh, meditate. We should medicine uh, Honey Badger while we're... Yeah, how's he doing? Let's take a look. Um, not I'm too not well, I'd wager. Sorry for lethal. I'm not fantastic. Uh, three, he's got actually, three no, I'm okay. Yeah, he's, I got I think, three lethals. I think I think you got a, a pretty significant heal from Dewey at the end of last yeah. session. Um, I believe so. Yeah, I think I had hit him pretty hard, actually, if I yeah. remember right. Yeah, he, well, he, he he had seven lethal wounds, and now he's only got three, so you yeah. must have done something right. <coughs> Move your phone, Drew. Why? What's happening? Moop, moop. I didn't even hear it. I can hear I it. That's hear impressive. It. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> finally attuned to the sound of your vibrating phone. I'll put it on my crotch where it belongs. All right. Thank you. All right, so then um, you will be meditating for a little while to harvest mana. Yes. Let me find that. I think it's just a... Uh, there's a rule for meditating. I've got it somewhere. Let me find it. There was. Maybe it's in the notes for Hallow. Here, and uh, I've got it on a sheet. I don't know if I've shared it with you guys. It's, it's called Common Rolls. Um, yeah, I, th I think I remember. I think you that. did. Haven't added uh, it so there's mind. there's a role here for recovering mana. Perform an oblation at a hallow. It's gnosis plus uh, composure, cool. and you need one hour of uninterrupted meditation. Each success gives you one mana. Um, and the hallow accumulates mana up to its dot rating per day. Uh, and if memory serves, memory doesn't have to serve. I'm just going to look. Uh, it's three. It's a three. Okay, so you can have up to three mana. You'll need three successes. You'll need to meditate for an hour. So roll gnosis plus composure. Gnosis plus composure. Uh, all right. Quick question. Uh, for adding a dot to my ruling arcana, does that use regular experience or arcane experience? Regular. The only thing okay. you can use arcane experience on is your gnosis. Okay. Oh. I got three successes. All right. You suck it dry. You hear that, everyone? Nobody else can take any mana out of the, all the man out. Yeah, It's all gone. All right. It's fine. And uh, you're busy for the next hour. Okay, and I change that to be that, and I get more drops. All right. Uh, anybody else? Sammy, you want to you want to figure out if your shit works? Do you want to wave your hands over your bone knife and examine it? Uh, what, what, what do you guys want to do? Touch. Yeah, I mean, I'll see if I can ascertain anything myself. But um, I'm guessing I'm not going to do too much, but I can try. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so you're just going to, similar to how Albacore rolls just a generic prime spell to try and discern something about a magic spell, uh, you can probably just, I bet there's a spirit roll for something along these lines. How many dots in spirit do you have? Three. Three dots, oof. Okay. So the, there's a one dot spell called Exorcist's Eye, which right. lets you detect the presence of an entity uh, within a terrestrial being, or I'll extend that to object. So you might want to. I mean, you know there's a spirit there. So let's let's see if there's a different well, right. spell for discerning something about that spirit. Um, so you want me to roll gnosis and spirit? Ye. It's going to be Gnosis plus Spirit, yeah. I'm just looking to see if there's a really good spell description somewhere with it. No, we'll, we'll just call it Discern Spirit. So, Gnosis plus Spirit, please. Okay. Dibia thought you didn't have to meditate because you're a Prime Mage. No, there's a... there's a. I hear a lot of dice in that other window. There's a... Um, there's a Merit there's you can a merit. Take. Which yeah. I have, but it's not for that. Yeah. Oh well. So if if it's I if can you're talking, concentrate effortlessly. Yeah. If you're talking about meditative mind, what that does is it allows you to meditate even in the face of you know duress or you know someone shooting guns in the next room. Um, I can meditate while I'm getting a reach around. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Yoder, three successes. All right. <coughs> That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. It is a um, 
it's amorphous. You, you've 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 got a, a good look at it now. It's 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 not any sort of an animal spirit or anything. It's 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 been in this knife for so long that it's sort of taken on the shape of the knife, and you would you would characterize it as a um, uh, based on your experience so far anyway. It, it seems like it's a pain spirit or something along those lines. It's a it's a spirit that that loves pain and suffering, and um, you think that that knife will do double damage in the presence of someone who's been incapacitated. Yeah. Ooh, neat. <laughs> Get to stab Makes him. sense. All right, so if I want this to hurt people, we should knock him out first. Well, if you're, in a, fight, with the yeah, if, if you're in a fight with multiple people, for example, and you knock one out, or deal a grievous damage to one, then that knife will be amped up for the rest of the fight. Okay, good to know. I'm gonna note that somewhere in the <clears throat> character sheet with like ah. a comment or something. Which explains why I got all excited when. Uh, hey, which, this is the which knife? The knife which out. knife are we doing this? With? This is the bone knife. The bone knife, yeah. So, Drew. I want to go back into Paradigm Solutions and chat with somebody who is a fate or time mage and learn some shit and pos and find out if my magic works. Okay. Uh, let me look is through. the guy who's in the lobby one of those? The guy in the lobby right now is Valley High. Um, let me see what his arcana are. And... He's my favorite mountain. No, that's Valley High. I don't care. He's still my favorite mountain. So Valley High, <laughs> Val Valley High, you want to learn about uh, time and fate, and Valley High is not going to be able to help you with that. <laughs> well, screw that guy. And it is late. And it How is late. Matter. Matter. Um, Applewhite has a bit of matter, but he ran away. Hmm. And there's probably someone in Paradigm Solutions or the Free Council in general that has some matter magic, but uh, it, it's it's the middle of the night, so it's it's not particularly staffed up right now. Fine, Kelly has a date. <coughs> That's what I learned. It's really cold. Okay. Mages with three dots of prime may use the spell Channel Mana to absorb mana from a hallow without oblation. You know what? That's a great point. Yeah, so prime mages can channel mana not just out of objects, but also out of hallows. Did you hear that, Leo? Where, where is he seeing this? It's a. Uh, I suppose it's probably in the full description. Mm, I'm looking at the, the abbreviated description. Yeah, you're looking at my little reference, I think. So yeah. let's see here. Prime. I mean, the good news is I, 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 you know, in one roll I got it all anyway. I mean, I actually, that's yes. Although you do need to oblate for an hour, but my little abbreviated sure. description does say gain mana from Tass or an enchanted item or from a hallow without requiring meditation. Oh, it does. Look at that. Yeah. It helps I'm, if you read all the words. I, I mean, it's only like a 15-word summary of a page and a half of text, <laughs> but you still need to read the 15 words. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Is that well, one of the spells you're going to use for your imbued mana bong? Probably. Yeah. All right. But so I still want to get more mana from some of my tasks. Okay. So, I have many pieces of Tass. I don't know how much mana is in them. Uh, let's see here. Back to the character sheets. You have two small crystals, four normal crystals, and one massive crystal. Um, and how does this normally work? You cast so, channel mana so and then... Right, in the past, we had, like, I, I rolled, and I've got a rote for it, channel mana. Um, and however many successes I got, I got that much mana, and you decided if that destroyed the task or not. Okay. Um, All right, and then start we had, rolling. We had talked about in the past that the rule book actually, you imbue items with mana, and they have an inherent number. Yeah, or amount of mana within them, but I don't know what those are, so I don't know if I can find out how much or what. But anyway, I've got seven open mana slots, so I, think I guess so, I'll start so, with so, a small so fast crystal. Yeah, so this is just um, what am I trying to say here? This is uh, this is something where I think experience would tell you 
You know, like if, if you're looking at a handful of flour, you know, you're going to be like, oh, that's about 300 grams of flour. Just eyeballing it. You know, it's, it's not, it's not, you're, you're not going to cast a spell to tell exactly how much mana there is in a task crystal. It's just, it's an amount because of the size of the crystal. So experience will help. Okay. Um, so, small crystal first. Uh, roll channel mana. All right, and I have it as a rote. Okay. Uh, which gives me 10 dice. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. What the f <laughs> Three successes. So, three successes. Yeah, unfortunately, you only get one mana out of this and it fizzles uh, out of existence. All right, so I'm down to one small task crystal. Which can I just cast again right away? Yeah, the, yeah the go ahead. Small one. All right. Oh my goodness! Four. All right, this one gives you two and fizzles out of existence. All right. All right, I'm going to call that good. All right. Uh, <clears throat> well, that was still an awfully productive amount of mana sucking you just did. Yes. Mm. So, nice. Drew, uh, uh, Valley High can't probably help you, um, although let's see. It's fine. All right, here's my question. What time of night is it or morning? It's about At this point, it's about 11 p.m. Oh, cool. I want to go to the nearest bar. <laughs> Like, uh, what, what, what's, what's, I mean, you're, you're right downtown Madison. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know downtown Madison very Plan well. Plan B. So you're gonna... Plan B. That's a bar. Yep. Oh okay. yeah. I'm going to plan B. Ah. Okay. Is that a gay bar? <laughs> no. Of course not, Drew. We yes. wouldn't do that to you. Yes, it is. I don't want to yes. go there. Then. Send me to a different bar. It's going to the Great go Dane. It's it's right downtown somewhere. Fine, I'm going to the Great Dane. Yeah, yeah, great Dane but right. before I walk into the Great Dane, I would like to cast Winds of Chance on myself. Winds of Chance. Okay. It's it's not a rote. Okay. It is a level one fate spell. It's with wits plus sub. Oh, you're you're looking at it. I'm so. looking at it. Yeah. So um, are we going with you, or are you just? I don't care. On your own, or <laughs> he, he I don't care. Shit. I mean, there's a parking ramp right next to there. We could park the grease mobile. We could all go get a. You guys do what the hell you want. Batch craft I gotta check something out. At the Great Dane. All right. <clears throat> gotta check something out. <clears throat> all right. Looking for more vampire blood. Gnosis plus fate, Drew. Gnosis plus fate. So that is three plus three six. One success. Okay. Does that mean it worked? Uh, so the duration is prolonged. It, it'll <laughs> last for a full scene. And okay. I mean, yes, I mean, uh, more than zero means it should do something. But, uh, you know, this is just something that's going to impact you for the next scene. Great. I would like to now walk into the... Wait, I would like to... Hmm, before I go in, now I'd like to cast the perfect moment. <laughs> okay. The perfect wow. level two fate spell. This dude is woke. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second hey, to finish reading about Winds of Chance. Okay, well, perfect moments on page 152 when you're done with that. Okay. <laughs> All right, and perfect moment. This. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, go ahead and roll. Same thing. Uh, yeah. Moses plus, uh, Moses plus fate. Oh. Oh no. Okay. As far as you know, the this... spell is active. No, just kidding. You you can tell it failed. Is is there any? I mean, th is my earlier success with winds of chance do anything for that? I mean, should I have gotten another dice or? These are both no. spells that are not 
okay. like super well defined. I mean, they're not going to give you a plus one or something. They they just sort of have an impact for the rest of the scene. Sure. So can I try that one more time? Yeah, absolutely. One success. Slightly better. Yeah, well, it's better enough that we could say it worked. Okay. Great. So now I'm uh, in the Great Dane. Uh huh. And uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna walk up to a table with only women. <laughs> okay. Oh Jesus. Let's see. Maybe there's one with two women. Okay. Okay. Uh, Any particular women? Let's let's see. Well, let's see, Drew. Hang on. Table with two women. No. Table with <laughs> table with three women. Yes. There is a table with three women. Okay. I, uh... Damn it. Um, Except it's like Joy Behar Roseanne and Judge Judy. I don't Where's care. Okay. I'm not looking for a supermodel. I'm not looking for Miss Wisconsin and her cheddar head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would like to cast... Let's see. Are, are there... I, okay. I would like to grab a coaster. Okay. Okay. I would like to cast Lucky Coin on the coaster. <laughs> Lucky Coin. You realize that's just going to make it a better coaster. <laughs> <laughs> okay, knock him out. He's, he's gone too far. <laughs> right. So I have that as a rote. Uh -huh. so I get eight. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's not helpful. Eight. <laughs> oh my, eight. <laughs> Druby, you did it. <laughs> okay, so this coaster now has an equipment bonus of two dice. Okay. So, so the next time you use it, you get plus two dice. Like as a weapon or for armor. <laughs> as a shield, maybe. I would, uh, I would like to to make a bet with the women at the table. Okay. That that uh, I will gladly go home with them if I can land this coaster on its edge. <laughs> Give me my dice. All right. <laughs> they are intrigued and they are paying okay. attention. Let's see okay. it, big shot. All right, what am I? Uh, what am I rolling Why don't for you that? Roll, what do you want to use magic to do it? Oh hell yes, I do. Okay. Um, what would that be? It's going to be something with fate, obviously. Um, you've got th th fate three. I, uh, yeah, fate three. I was thinking maybe I put exceptional luck on on as well, real quick. Yeah. Well, use superlative luck if you've got fate three. Well, I, 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 yeah, but that's vulgar. Just spend mana. You can use a magical tool. You can spend mana. There's lots of ways to get rid He's of it. He's already got to right. spend mana on it. That's because exceptional luck is also mana. Fine. Superlative luck it is. That's still okay. six dice, right? Uh, it's Gnosis plus fate. All right. So, does this give you eight again on your next one roll, then? <laughs> that, I believe so. So, so it's vulgar. Uh, do you want to spend two mana to prevent me from making a paradox roll right now, or do you want to stick with your one mana and let me roll paradox? Ah, hell, I got tons of mana. Screw it. Okay, spend two mana for that spell. I'm trying. I don't know why Re it won't let me. Reduce your available number. Oh, so there's four. A, yeah, there's a note next to it that says how to do it. I barely pay attention. All right. So now, what am I? What am I rolling to flip my coaster? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see here. Um, so you've amped yourself up with magic, and now we're going to use dexterity. Plus. Oh, I would also like to cast perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing, okay. Which is uh, a, a level one time spell found on page 258. I do not, again, have it as a rote. 
I wanted to go in and get all these spells as rust so that it would work better, but it is what it is. Okay, uh, spend one mana, cast perfect timing. <laughs> So, four. You want to spend a willpower? <clears throat> nope. Okay. So, <laughs> one success one success on perfect timing. Okay. Uh, we'll say you did not spend your eight again on this roll. We, we'll, oh. we'll, we'll, we'll cast the spells in the sl- in, 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 and, and hold, hold the effects I, I in reserve. This was a thing. Yeah. So, so. Your next roll these is. These ladies go- are getting really bored. Yeah, they're, 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 you're making all these weird gestures, and they're like, "What the <laughs> fuck is this guy doing?" Trust me, this is gonna pay off. All right, so you're based on the perfect timing roll. You're gonna have plus one dice. On the okay. based on the fate roll, those dice are all gonna have the eight again quality. Yes. So now, what do we roll? Um, you want to flip this coin and have it land on its edge. So coaster. We'll use- it's a coaster. Good Co- coaster, yeah. See, most people flip coins. That This is what sets you apart. I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's say dexterity plus composure plus uh, larceny. Four plus five, nine, ten, plus an extra dice. Plus eight one, again. and then eight again. So eleven eight again. This is gonna be great. Zero. All the dice. Oh shit. Two successes. <laughs> Two. <laughs> it had to be a three. <laughs> no. Um. So you 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 throw it up in the air. It doesn't really flip like a coin. First you try and flip it like a coin, and it's a miserable failure. So. You say, "Hold on a minute," and you grab it off the floor, and and, and then you toss it up in the air, and uh, it flips several times. The the ladies are all paying attention. Um, two of them are paying attention to the coaster. The third is paying attention to you. Ooh, it's working. Um, and uh, the coaster lands between two of their drinks and remains upright. And uh, the two la- the two ladies are like, yeah, that's great. Uh, <laughs> our our boyfriends are going to be here to pick us up in a minute. And the oh. third the third lady's like, I don't have a boyfriend here. Perfect. <laughs> so uh, I'd have to kick some people out of mine. So how about your place? <laughs> <laughs> um. You have a you have a you have a, a, a merit for um like bar yeah barfly yeah what's barfly give you I don't remember uh, I picked it on purpose yeah well and I didn't forget was... thanks I did I'm looking No matter what, do, 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 uh, it just it just means you can schmooze your way into and around a club uh, with relatively little resistance. Oh uh, yeah, fine. It has an easy bribe schmoozing. Yeah, that all makes sense. All right. Uh, well, let's have you make a. <sighs> Wits plus presence plus. Uh, pers- <laughs> persuasion plus one for the magic trick you just pulled. And I don't get eight again again, right? No. It's just the one You're time done deal. with eight again. You squandered it anyway. Oh, dear. Oh! oh. <laughs> and you did an eight again. And you still <laughs> failed. <laughs> I didn't do an eight again. I rolled eight dice. Isn't that what the eight exclamation point means? I don't know. I clicked roll. All right. No, that's not what the eight exclamation point means. Okay. Uh-huh. Eight exclamation point means eight and up is success. Ah. Compare that to the previous roll. Eight exclamation point greater than eight. Oh no. Uh, okay. Um. So the two ladies kind of snort and 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 saunter off to find their boyfriends, who they probably made up. Uh, 
and the third lady hangs out and 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 sh and, and she's wearing you know like a like a an embarrassingly shiny gold dress she's blonde Perfect. She she was impressed by the by the by the coaster flip, and she was willing to humor you uh, as you as you made your 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 sales pitch. It. But uh, let's 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 hear what you have to say. You, you you said something about I'd have to kick some people out of my place, so let's go to your place. Is that is that the extent of your of your flirting? Oh shit. <laughs> um. Listen, I almost died today. I'm having kind of a rough day. I figured the magic trick might work. It didn't. And okay. What do you think? It <laughs> so, so, so you 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 <laughs> offer to go to her home, and she yeah. is and she is bemused at best. But then you 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 get out the pity guns, and uh, let's see how that works. Um, Are we all sitting here next to him watching this? Happen? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I, I'm just wondering because, like, do we? I mean, if did, we did want... you go to the great thing? <laughs> yeah, I went with him. Yeah. Okay. I'm sitting at the bar, like. Face palming. <laughs> hey, do you guys think we should stop this or let this continue? <laughs> I'm, I'm back at the hallow. This, this is the most entertaining thing I've seen, I've I've, seen in a couple of days. I <laughs> welcome none of you have cast any spells on this poor woman to trick her into. I can I can do something for. Her. I can help you. I have uh, trigger the lizard brain. I, I've added like four, <laughs> which I can manipulate the instinctual behavior of humans. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you should totally cast that on this girl. So, you should have can... done that be a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I'm willing to do that and see if I can attempt to help Truby out here. <laughs> All right. The, the, so let's 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 find that. Uh, life four. Life four. Wow. Trigger the lizard brain. It's it's covert. It doesn't take mana. Manipulate right. instinctual behavior of. She doesn't have Gnosis, she does have Resolve, and this is contested. Let me find page 191. Um, what if her instinctual behavior is to mate? <laughs> and then, like, then he's gonna... Well, like, he's gonna I mean, I understand it. you think that her instinctual behavior would be to flee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you know, her, her instinctual behavior... Uh, regardless of what it would be in the face of a man <laughs> of like course. Honey Badger. But this says, uh, okay, actually, in the thing, it says, of course, other instinctual reactions such as defense to a superior or even the urge to mate can be brought on through the use of such magic. Yeah, there you go. It says it right there in the description. So you're going to rewrite whatever she's about to do with the uh, with the urge to mate. Yes. Okay. Um, Which is just a guess because we have no idea what he's actually trying to do because he didn't tell us. <laughs> That's right. He's just casting a spell on his own right now. So he's sitting at the bar, face palming repeatedly, and now he sees you making your final sales pitch, and he is going to roll Gnosis plus life. Yes. Um, target rolls resolve reflexively. Well, I got a success. A success. Okay. Uh, the lady has got to resolve. And she's at a minus one right now because of the uh, the alcohol she's been drinking. Mm. So we're gonna roll one die. Drew, <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. Uh, so she hears your your sad story about dead puppies and 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 uh, girlfriends that 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 left you. Well, and, it, and it might just work by himself too. Trucks that don't work. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, so now uh, his, 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 Yoder's attempt to uh, Yoder's attempt to influence her lizard brain has failed because she managed to steal her resolve at the last moment. <laughs> 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 uh, but you you do get to roll for this. I mean, you get one more roll. You just don't have any bonuses or any outside help. Yeah. Um, so it's it's going to be uh, manipulation. Uh, okay. Resolve plus manipulation plus uh, plus uh, subterfuge. Okay, so you're saying there's a chance. 
Wow, I'd say there's well, a chance. What the f- What? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Well, you're you're married now. It's uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right. Where so... the hell was that? All the other times. You, you always you always you always save the best for last. Apparently. Um. Yep. Yeah, she is. Uh, she she attempts to sw- to seal her resolve, <laughs> but uh, but she is um, overcome by your pitiful tale. And uh, she says, all, "All right, sweetie, let's 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 go find somewhere to to, to talk about this." And she takes you by the hand, leads you out of the Great Dane, and and uh, I uh, I wave over my shoulder to the guys and be like, "See you in the morning." <laughs> and Dewey and Timmy are are astonished, laughing our asses off, surprised. Confused. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, they are all of those things. All right. Well, you've effectively raped this woman. Well done. <laughs> um. Okay. <laughs> I, I threw up a little just then. Oh God, for real! I did. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Uh, Smoothie Cold says, unable to tell Mac they don't want to play mage again. The gang comes up with a plan to make Mac not want to play mage again. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, Sammy's occupied for the rest of the night. Uh, what do what do you guys want to do with the rest of your evening? Uh, um, I don't know. Go somewhere and sleep? get some sleep is a perfectly acceptable yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm okay that's, with just. That's what I was thinking. I'd like right. some more willpower. So I think I think uh, Albacore lives in Madison. Is that right? Yes. Does anybody else have a house here in Madison or that they want to offer up not. or? Uh... No, I don't live near in Madison. Albacore, do you do you have uh, any any en- enough room in your home for for a few people to bunk down, or or should they look for a uh, for an I mean, as long as people don't mind sleeping on the floor. I got a I got a bed, but and a couch and a, chair, a bed but... and a couch and a floor. That yeah, was okay. terrible. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> All right, when so you everybody said you raped that woman. I had a mouthful and I. I tried to swallow, but most of it went into my lungs, and then I kind of threw it up on my chair. Oh, God. Wow. That's, huh. that's an intense reaction. That, that's uh-huh. called karma, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Smoothie cold. I'm at the bar. Are there girls there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, exceptional success on the final roll of of uh, of the evening, and and uh, Honey Badger trundles off with a with a uh, lame clad blonde. Um, Yoder, Yoder, and uh, Ender are going to head back to the Merovingians' place and fight over who gets the the couch. Um, because uh, so I could have just gone back to the grease mobile. I didn't have to go to this poor woman's house. I, I mean, I assumed that was your objective. Would you really want to take a woman back to the grease mobile? <laughs> I don't know. It depends. How drunk is she? <laughs> not, I not that drunk. Drunk. Another, uh, she was only one drunk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was only one drunk. <laughs> then Minus I, one then result. she was not raped. You should have it just was... bought her some drinks, and then she would have been too drunk. Hey! <laughs> okay. Nice. So where in Madison does Albuquerque live? Um... Let's get the map out. Uh, let's say kind of in that neighborhood to the east of Camp Randall. Wow. Like uh, south south mm-hmm. of the university, like Greenbush property. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Let's turn on the old, is it an apartment or a house or? Sweet, that means we can go to Mickey's in the morning. Oh, oh it's an my god. <clears throat> okay. Um here's an apartment building looks like. I don't have a cell phone, so good luck we'll with say, that. So we'll, we'll never see him again. <laughs> we'll say this is Albacore's apartment building. Save. It's okay, I can I can voice from afar you. <laughs> Don't do that right now. <laughs> yeah, don't do that right now. <laughs> <Unless you're laughs> All right, so do you see where I've put your apartment building? No. Uh, no. No. Refresh the uh, the page. 
I have refreshed, and I still do not see one nope. on the landmarks. I also do not. Huh. Mm, nope. What street is it on? Uh, it's on the corner of Adams and Mound. No. That V-ish shape looking yes. thing? Yes. Okay. So that's where you spend the night. Perfect. Honey Badger spends going. the night. We know not where. It does not matter. Okay. So first order of business in the morning is what do you want to do in the morning? It's morning now. I would like I to sneak get... out before I have to acknowledge her existence. <laughs> no, I want to go to breakfast at Mickey's Dairy how Bar. Much, how much willpower do we get back uh, for having Preston? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, you don't and, get and, any and, like, healing and stuff. I don't. Do you get willpower back for sleeping? I feel like you don't. Um. How do you gain willpower back? A full night of rest, you gain one point. Okay, okay. Yeah, yep, yep. You're right. Full night of rest. Okay, so regain one willpower. If you, if I need to it. ask, did I get a full night of rest? No. <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay. And then so any bashing wounds are probably healed, right? Yeah. Bashing wounds should be healed. Uh, lethal, not yet. And regain one willpower if you've spent any. Okay. So. And you don't recover mana just by being? <laughs> no. Nope. Right. You gotta, earn it. You gotta suck it from the suck holes. <laughs> <clears throat> I wish you'd get your bong figured out. I'm working on it. Okay. I'd like to check my, my computer to see if there's any results from my, my ah. search. Yeah, so that took seven hours. Um, and there is no evidence of Allison anywhere in Madison. Oh. Take that for what you will. Maybe you should reply to her message. I think I should say it. Um, say what? <laughs> hey, my thing <laughs> updated. I now see Albacore's up our apartment building. Ah. Um, Go to bed. How come my roll 20 page still shows the ah. like old tiny map of Madison and yours has the. Oh, cool. yeah, you know what? I, 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 I had. Uh, I was sitting oh. on this page and you guys weren't. <laughs> nice. There we go. That's far better. But luckily, nice. I still saw all your rolls. Yeah. Um, okay. So. Uh, you're checking the status of your AI, and your AI has unfortunately turned up nothing. Uh, but why, give me a wits plus composure roll, please. Everybody? Just Timmy. Okay, wits plus composure is... Zero I am successes. Not you do not notice anything. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that bodes well. Albacore you. has a text message on his phone now uh, from Philippa. Ooh. And uh, she, she just says, Valley High called last night and said you were looking for me? Question mark. I would like to reply with, yes, I was. Okay. What's up? What do I roll? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Honey Badger got sent to... Well, we knocked Honey Badger out and he went to the Shadow Realm and we were looking for help getting him back, but he's back now, so it's all good. What time do you open? <laughs> <laughs> uh, she replies with 8.30 and a smiley winky face. Ooh. Hey, what time is it now? It's uh, 8.25. I would like to just jump in the grease mobile and start driving to daydreams. Bring uh, bring shale so he can cast that lizard brain thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I need it. Oh, uh, oh, oh snap. Look at you, oh. smart ass. So before you go, is anyone watching TV or, or ordering breakfast? Or, oh, you wanted to go to Mickey's Dairy I Bar. I wanted to go to Mickey's Dairy Bar. Okay. Well, you got to take <laughs> yeah. a side trip to Mickey's Dairy Bar then. Oh, um. Yes. I would like to... Do I have any ability to cast something to find out where the hell they are? Time... Do you have a cell phone? Fate. No, I don't I have don't a cell phone. You don't have a cell phone. phone. But I'm going to buy one because I don't have... I have mon I, we have money now. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think Oh, hey. No, here we go. Hey, Stu. Should, should I wait for <laughs> my fire? Stu does not respond. Stu, Stu is, is busy. He's still working on is that Is he still dog with thing. the dogs? No. I can call <laughs> Stu from wherever he is. 
<laughs> Stu. Stu. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Stu does not respond yet. God damn it. I want you to get from afar. Because I was just going to tell Stu to go tell Honey Badger where we are. No, well, In whatever way he feels like he should. He, does, he, he no! doesn't respond yet. Okay. <laughs> 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 Alright, so, so Mickey's Dairy Bar. You all order scramblers. Yes. Uh, yeah. And uh, Timmy is going to cast a voice from afar and let Honey Badger know with a full mouth of food uh, <laughs> what exactly. Well, well, I have to roll and see how many words I get. I yes. Get one word for success. Yeah. Roll, okay, roll. Uh, is it just, it's not a rote, I assume? Or? It is not. Okay, so Gnosis get... plus uh, mind, I right. guess. That's still an awful lot of dice. Four six. Okay, cool. you That's... get four words. Um, uh, what's this place called? Mickey's, Mickey's Dairy, Dairy Bar. Bar. That's three of your words. <laughs> What's this place called? Is forward. At Mickey's Dairy Bar. Yeah, at that's Mickey's kind of what Dairy I Bar. Come get a scrambler, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he won't know where to go if I just say that. It's true. Yeah. Come on. Okay. At Mickey's Bar thing. Dairy Bar. Bar. <laughs> at Mickey's Dairy Bar. Okay, so. We'll get to, to that okay. in a moment. Um, okay. Oh, I, there, I, wanna, I, I wrote a response to um, the Reddit post. You did this? Yes, I did. I did. Should, should I go look? Yes. Okay. Yo, Dusty, what you been up to getting into the tentacle stuff? <laughs> Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> You know, a dust dust shirt. Uh -huh. No, I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Yo, Dusty, what you've been up to? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> it's like code, but the worst kind of code. So you, you type this message out while you're stuffing your face. You send a message yeah. to Honey Badger while you're stuffing your face. Um Merovingian makes plans to head to Daydream while he's stuffing his face. There we go. And uh, <laughs> Yoder, uh, while Yoder's stuffing his face, he's just watching the TV. And uh, there's a news report on, and the closed caption suggests that there are dogs barking all across Madison for no obvious reason. <laughs> I raise and, uh, both of my fists in the air. And, <laughs> local and, local uh, UW yeah. scientists are attributing attributing it to possible seismic activity. You yes, raise I both raise your both fists in the, in the air. You <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, when Drew gets back, not back yet. Okay. So you finish your breakfast, and I suppose you're probably going to want to wait for Honey Badger. Since you told him you were. Yeah. There he is. Okay. Uh, Drew. Would you please give yeah. me a dexterity plus stealth roll? <laughs> God damn it. Don't bring her with you to Mickey's. Uh, seven. Okay. It's going to be fine, guys. I'm very sneaky. Look, at there's a 10. All right. There's a 10. You escape this this woman's house. Um, it is a house. You're not sure where in town you are. She drove. Yeah, and I don't know where the hell this Mickey's place is either. Yeah. Uh, let's see if your innate sense of direction can can help you out. Uh, why don't you cast some fate magic here? And uh, yeah, let's cast some fate magic. Fate. What do we got? Fate. What do I have that's a road that might help here? <coughs> so, uh, nothing. Reading the outmost eddies is something that might be helpful if you're just walking around randomly choosing which which corner to turn them down. Okay. There's probably something even better. Yeah. Um. Mm. 
<laughs> yeah, all right, let's just go with the, the utmost at ease for now, I guess. Did I, hit, did I turn Sybil's sight on since I came out of that? Uh, it, then no. I'd have mage sight, and couldn't I maybe see their uh, whatevers and follow them? No, that, it doesn't work that way, unfortunately. But you probably did put on some sort of mage sight. That, 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 that should be a reflex after a while. Well, yeah, but I haven't been a mag magician for a bit. Yes, agreed. So you tell me, did you put up Sybil's sight or not? No, I didn't, because I don't even have it as a rote. Okay. In that case, uh, you're just going to see if you can make some lucky rolls and walk around. Okay, what am I rolling? I'm rolling... Fate plus Gnosis. Fate plus Gnosis. All right, here we go. Six away. That's pretty good. Three successes. Let me see how many blocks you are from them. Okay. Ah, uh, read the utmost of shit. I should have read more carefully. Read the utmost at ease. Um, how early? What what time of morning is this? Eight twenty-five. I would like to stop a jogger and ask where the hell to go. Hey. What an idea. That's I'm sure they'll gladly stop. I look a slight <laughs> bit disheveled. <laughs> so, That's there are no... Do you videos. have your moonshine jug with you, like, at all times? Or... <laughs> there, are, no. there, are, there, are no, there are no joggers on the street here, but um, you use the result of your reading the outmost Eddie's spell to decide to turn right and just start walking. And okay. you come to a corner, and you look both ways up that street, and you do see a jogger coming. Oh. And the jogger is on the other side of the street. Do they have headphones on? Or nope. earbuds? Nope. It's just some dude wearing sweatpants and, and a sweaty t-shirt. Hey, I'm looking for a dairy bar for breakfast. You know whereabouts that is? What? Mick Mickey's, I think. What? That sound right? Dear God. <laughs> I'm looking for Mickey's Dairy Bar. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> oh, it's this way. And he just sort of points the direction he's running. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, so do you just start walking up the street then, or? Yeah, I'll go that way, I guess. All right. It's uh, it's a relatively major thoroughfare, and it turns out you're only about four or five blocks away, uh, and it's Perfect. right on it's right on this street. You see an old fashioned, uh, you know, like a old fashioned restaurant sign that says Mickey's Dairy Bar out on the street, and it's more or less right across the street from Camp Randall. Great. So you walk in, you find the group. Do you order yourself some breakfast? Um, yes, yes, I would like to order some breakfast. You need some greasy food to recharge. Yeah, I gotta replenish the electrolytes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the electrolytes. Okay. So right. I, I I don't know what there is here, but hey, hey, uh, you guys, you've been here before. What the hell is <laughs> today? Scrambler. Get a scrambler. Scrambler. Scrambler it up. <laughs> it's it's and like some coffee it's for God's sake. Pancakes and sausage and all that just blended up in a pile. Great. It's all scrambled <laughs> up. All Bad. right. So you've rejoined the group and uh, they're all curious how your night went, I suppose, or <laughs> maybe they don't want to know. Not particularly. <laughs> no. no. Okay. <laughs> Are any of you legitimately going to ask me? No. Good. We all we right. assume we know what happened. I I don't need yes, to be con know, I even confirmed. <laughs> A gentleman, you know, never, crying on a gentleman never tells. So I <laughs> we know you got to replace every tells. detail. <laughs> All right. So the plan I just want to is... ask if you had any weird tattoos you don't remember from last night. Do I? <laughs> no. Okay. Look at both your kidneys. Oh, that's I... a good thing to check. Ooh, do I have to roll for that? <laughs> I think I'm okay. You might want Shale to roll for that. <laughs> I don't have any mild lower back pain. <laughs> Not you yet. didn't wake up in a tub of ice? No. Then you're fine. <laughs> I damn near had to coyote my way out of there, though. I don't have 19 dice. That's a very strange number. 
Okay. What? I have 19 dice. That's weird. I must be missing that one. Is, that is weird. Okay, okay. so... Um, so the plan is to go to Daydream. Is that right? Is there a TV on in this diner? Is there a TV in this diner? Yes, there is. Is it on for, like, the news? Yes. Is there any... I, I like to check and see how things are going in the world. Is there anything of note on the news? A bunch of dogs are barking. A bunch of dogs are barking. That's the local interest story at the moment. Um, let's see here. There is a text scroll along the bottom of the screen about an airplane that crashed in Canada. And that's really all you get from the text scroll. <coughs> it, oh. <coughs> oh. So, the plan is to go to Daydream. Yeah, sure. It yes. didn't say okay. where in Canada? No. Damn American media. If you'd like to find out more, Canada you can certainly... Canada is not uh, America, so who cares? Exactly. Canadian flight 22 who cares crashed over... Who gives a damn? <laughs> over the polar bear <laughs> highway or something. No, he landed on a bear Listen, or something. people. Yeah. Narrat the the the, the uh, unreliable narrator was telling us uh, that we should watch the news, and when prompted, <laughs> that's the piece of information he gave us. Well, there's a reason they call him the unreliable nar narrator. Well, why doesn't the beefy dude with the bloody laptop do something? <laughs> <laughs> He's been doing something. Uh, okay, do you have your laptop out? Yeah. That, that's how you were uh, looking up. Um, yeah. You, you redditing? Okay. I like how you always have your laptop out instead of your smartphone. So give me another wits plus composure check. Uh, okay. Let me remind myself that's five. There's uh, 10 users in the Oblivious Incorporated subreddit. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Well, this time you do notice something. The uh, the task manager on your laptop's going kind of crazy, and you dig in a little bit, and you find what looks like um, all your little purposeful AI processes are churning away on something. They're just sitting on your laptop, but it's like it's like they've completed all their tasks, and they're now just hanging out. Kind of doing their own thing. They're kind of doing their own thing on your laptop. Hmm. So. Let me see here. Can I can... computer at them and see what they're up to? Sure. Well, how would you like to computer at them? Um, let's see. Uh, in real life, I actually don't know what I would do, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, think about that. All right. uh, in the meantime, uh, Yoda, you feel a tap on your shoulder. And that's you, Shale. Hmm, what? In case you forgot your name. Uh, you feel like you, <laughs> a tap you, on my shoulder? Yes, you feel a tap on your shoulder. Okay. I turn around to see what it is. It's nothing. Stu, are you here now? Hey, hey boss. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Took me all night. But I did <laughs> nice it. Nice job, man. I saw that. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well done, well done. I'm, I'm pretty good. All right. That's cool. Uh, well, the other thing I need you for, we don't need you here for now, but, uh, so just, you know, chill out or whatever. You got it. Okay. <laughs> He's great at chilling out. Um, so, let me check something. Um, as you leave the restaurant... Um, you are approached by a man on the street. He's a, sort of a dumpy looking guy with like a five o'clock shadow and, 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 uh, he's wearing a trench coat, a brown one, not a black one. He's not, he's not one of those oh, thank God. katana wearing guys. He looks more like a, a bad caricature of a detective. Um, he looks more like a what? A bad caricature of the, de of a detective. All right. Um, Apologies, I was gone for a bit there because children. But I did learn how to mute things. Hey, that's good. 
you've been approached on the street on your way out of Mickey's Dairy Bar by a uh, apparently a detective. He's a schlubby guy with a five o'clock shadow and a brown trench coat. Um, and he he just sort of says good morning, and uh, he he eyes each of you and and spends an especially long time looking at uh, Dewey before walking into Mickey's Dairy Bar behind you. Did any of you guys notice that he had a, uh, uh, whatever you call it, a tail? Not a tail. A um, magical thing? I forgot what you called that. Uh, a Nimbus? Yeah, a Nimbus. Did he have a Nimbus, anybody? I, I don't know. I, Did he? I, I didn't cast the damn spell! <laughs> I guess Remember, okay. I'm so, asking, did yeah. I notice if he had one? Yeah, oh. you've you've usually got your sight up, and yes, he did have a <coughs> uh, a nimbus. He was, he was looking at me. He looked most particularly at you. Yes, at Dewey. Mm. Huh. He's from the Arrow, and he wants you. He wants to, you to join them. <laughs> uh so you still heading off to daydream or what? That's where I want to go. Okay. Yeah. We're off uh, to see Philippa. Hey, yeah, okay hey going Dewey. What? You want to split up and go back in and see what this dude's problem is? Yeah, sure. I got Stu around this time if I need him. Oh, he came back? Mobile. Yep, Stu came back. Yeah. Does Stu's... his finger smell like dog poop? Just... <laughs> I didn't ask him. How do you think he was making them all bark? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for not sending him after me. His finger does not. No. <laughs> oh. oh dear. Oh, Stu. Yeah, I'm. I'm willing to go talk to. Okay, so who's saying. who's who's splitting off and heading back into the bar, and who's continuing on to daydream? Uh, I'll go with you, with okay. You're gonna cramp his style. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll go in some some different section and and hang mm. out by myself. All right, so Albacore and Timmy heading off to Daydream. Uh, Sammy and Dewey staying here at the bar to confront Mr. Brown Trenchcoat. <laughs> Usually ends well. The brown coats. I'm not saying we're <laughs> going to confront them. We're just going to go, you know, confront, confront, confront has a negative connotation. Not necessarily going to do that. Okay. Well, let's start with you then. Why don't you tell me what you want to do if it's not confront? Well, it was Drew. It was... Honey Badger's idea, so I mean, I'll, All right. I'll let him take the lead. You want Honey Badger oh, to take the lead Christ. here, I understand. All right, I'm going to cast Civil Sight, so that's six. I decided that's what it is. Yep, it's, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> no, it's just plus, no, it's just plus uh, the fate. Fate, yeah, so it's six. That's Good job, look at that, you made it. Great job, you. Uh, so I have Civil Sight up. So okay. now I can see this guy's nimbus. And now you can see that he is apparently a supernatural creature along the lines of you and all your friends. So, uh... Mm, let's see. <coughs> I'm going to cast the perfect moment again, because it works well for me. Okay. Let me... Oh. Uh, well, three successes find that one again perfect moment is i'm acting with grace and poise in social yes. situations okay so you Which tell me what, what you want to do says about me. Yeah, grace and poise that's the two first two words that come out of my mouth when i'm describing you that's right so uh i would like to approach uh the guy the, you we know for a fact he's a policeman no, detective. You, you, he, looks he, like just, he just oh, he just he, he looks, looks he like resembles he, a detective. Yes, like if you if like Sam and Twitch from from the comics or like you know uh, Columbo. Columbo. He looks like Columbo. <laughs> Sam and Twitch. Who the hell knows what that is? <laughs> Columbo. Come on. <laughs> Brown trench coat. You know, rub, does he have a lollipop? Is he actually? He does not uh, have a lollipop. He is not actually Columbo. That's not <laughs> Columbo. That's uh, what's his name? That's Co Co Kojak. Is oh, the yeah. brown more of a yellow, and he's actually actually Dick Tracy? <laughs> <laughs> no, Dick Tracy never had no. a five o'clock shadow. All right, so what do you do? What's I'd like to approach him moment? and ask if uh, he's he's uh, fired any uh, knows anything about arrows, bows and arrows. 
arrows. With a, with a little bit of a wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <clears throat> uh, nope, but I know a little something about bolts. Shit. <laughs> uh, somebody help me out. Is there uh I was imagining it was adamantite arrow. Is there a different one that's bolts? He's eyeing uh Dewey again. Bol bolts like from my freaking crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Crossbacks. Yes, crossbacks. Yes, from my crossbacks. Yeah. It actually shoots bolts, not arrows. Well so. then. So it seems like uh, you, you've taken an interest in my friend here. Well, somebody's got to do it. Oh my! <laughs> is this is this something I should just uh, <laughs> not intrude on, or you know, is we're together? <laughs> not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Don't, don't figure that out. I didn't ask. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Okay. He, he's, he, he was seated and waiting for his breakfast, but now he stands. And uh, clearly he walked in here only as subterfuge. Like he approached, maybe he wanted to talk to Dewey and he saw too many people and decided to just keep walking. I don't know. But he, he walked okay. into the bar under the auspices of ordering some breakfast and now he's leaving. And he sort of anticipates you following him. Okay. okay. Uh, and he just takes you on a stroll around the block containing Camp Randall, and, uh, and, uh, as he walks, you can see his, his trench coat opening, and, and it looks like he's strapped. He's got a, he's got a holster on his shoulder, and, and, uh, although you can't tell what sort of a gun is in there. <clears throat> and there's also, a an old-timey flashlight hanging at his hip, off of his belt. Um. Okay. And he sort of sighs and says, uh, what does he say? Oh, look, look, there's there's only so many mages in town right now, and I can feel it when one of them dies. Oh. Mm. Okay. You shot him in the face. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say it out loud. I'm just thinking it. Okay, well, is this something that you felt then, sir? Yeah. And if you don't make a habit out of murder, and you don't get caught by the normal cops, chances are you aren't in too much danger of being sanctioned. Morality's pretty uh, flexible in the mage world. Okay. But I'm here to tell you that's bullshit. Nobody bothers tracking down supernatural crimes like a cop would. Normal human cops can't handle it, so there's just me. Okay. And you are... He introduces himself as... He says his name is Strider. And he seems to think that's a very clever, cool name. Nerd. Uh, <laughs> he really liked those movies. <laughs> wow, not even the books? Jeez. Books? What books? <laughs> uh, so you're saying you're a... Supernatural cop? <sighs> I guess you could say that. The well, idea you, of bringing you, you, criminals to justice is beneath your average mage. They're just not interested. Or at least they've got something more important going on. Me, I get ghosts haunting me, howling at me to do something about their deaths. Ah. And they lead me to you. They or it, he meant. Hmm. Honestly, okay. it's hard to tell. <laughs> uh, All right, so what are you? What do you? You know, what do you want me to do? Like, well, how long have you been in Madison? A couple days, six months, but it's been condensed down to two. I don't know. <laughs> 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 All right, well. Strider closes his eyes and makes a few little gestures and he says uh, alright so it's not you then that's fine but don't make a habit out of it 
Well, yeah, I don't generally tend to make a habit about killing people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. You're asking if we've been here long, how long we've been here because it's not us? Somebody else killing mages? Well, <coughs> he pulls the flashlight off his hip, and you're walking in front of Camp Randall at this point, and he sort of steps into a, a recess in the, uh, the side in one of the walls uh, where it's a little bit darker. And he flicks the flashlight on and points it at a wall. And uh, you see the translucent form of what looks like Angrist. Standing there looking very angry. Okay. This, this guy apparently took a crossbow bolt to the neck. And it's very similar to a rash of other mage deaths recently. So yeah, I thought maybe I'd track down who did it and see. But you haven't been here for longer than two days, so it's not you. There's been three or four others. But they were also killed with the same way? A crossbow, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Angrist... The wrong weapon, my friend. Angrist <laughs> gets the sense that you can see him now. Mm -hmm. And he seems to cheer up. And he looks at you and he says, High five! Okay, I, I, I guess I'll high five him. You know, why not? Strider grabs you. you. Down Str Strider grabs you and says, "Don't touch it." <laughs> <laughs> okay, can't leave a guy hanging like that, though. High five, okay. Stu. <laughs> Stu. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, give him a high five. Why, why don't you each give me a wits plus composure check? And the two of us that are there. The the yeah, honey badger and oh, yeah. uh, Yoder. Oof, wow. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> we are composed. composed. Also you, uh, yeah, okay. So the breakfast was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I did the trick. Alright, so half of this guy's <laughs> neck is uh is Missing. I mean, it, it's way more damage than a crossbow bolt could have done. I mean, you 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 shot it. You were staring right at him when it went cleanly through his neck. Right. Uh, it, it's not like you took a tore a chunk out of him like this. This is some sort of a ghostly or spiritual representation of the damage. Um, you know, the, on a, on a deeper and more <laughs> uh, symbolic level. Um, and something else you notice is that. Every time you look at Angrist's face and then look away and back at his face, every time you look at him, uh, his teeth are different. Like different, like there's more or less? Or like there's, there's more, more teeth, decayed, and or they're, more, they're more teeth and then less teeth, and then, there's, and then there's a tooth in the middle, and then there's fangs, and then the gums have, have overgrown his teeth, and all you see so, is gums uh, and... What's going on with this dude's teeth? Uh, he's a ghost. Strider just kind of shrugs. Don't, I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what a ghost means. <laughs> high I mean, five! I don't, why I don't know why you're dismissive about this freak ghost who wants us to give him a high five. His face changing drastically is like, eh, whatever. I sense that you are distracted, and he turns the flashlight back off. And now you can't see Angrist anymore. That's best. Okay. All I'm telling well, you, all I'm telling uh, you, first of all, stop murdering people. Second of all, watch out because there's someone murdering people. <laughs> well, first of all, I am not planning on murdering any more people. Wasn't really planning on murdering him. Just hold on, happened. hold on. Don't commit to something that... <laughs> <laughs> well, I can... I can commit to planning on not killing anybody else. I'm not saying I'm not going to kill anybody else, but like I'm not uh, planning it. He speaks for himself. I'm just laying that out there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And yeah, we'll keep an eye out. We're that's kind of I... at a heightened sense of awareness right now anyway. That's all I got to say. And it's always crossbows? Well, so far... How and many then, people do you think have been killed? 
Oh, uh, me personally, I've seen, I think, four mages now with uh, crossbow bolt wounds and dead. Here in Madison? Yep. Okay. In how long of a, like, over the last how many days? Oh, a couple of months. <laughs> okay. And he turns toward where the ghost of Angrist was standing and says, I know what it is. I'm wondering why it, never mind. All right, look, I've got other things to do. You boys have a good day. He gives you uh, his business card, though, before he leaves. And, okay. and and what company does it say he is with? It doesn't say. It says it just says Strider. No, it's got like a probably a fake. It just says Strider. It says Strider. No, it says like Mike Smith or something, and and then like a phone number. <laughs> Private Eye. <sighs> okay. Okay. Uh, we got to get over to uh, Timmy and Albacore before they get bored. <clears throat> So you're heading to Daydream. You walk inside. Philip is waiting yep. for you. Hi. What have you been up to? Oh, she doesn't get a voice. Well, she yeah, doesn't get a... Right. No, I mean, she's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were just looking into some stuff for some people. Spec, checking the specs and the rotors and... Yeah. Mm, well, this is a good place to look stuff up. What is this you need to look up? Well, I'm trying to find out what might bring undead or bring dead people back to life and make them into a giant tentacle. A giant mm, tentacle. Yes. No, not a giant mm, tentacle. A giant tentacle. <laughs> He's got a stutter, you jerk. <laughs> mm, where where did you find this tentacle? It was in a boathouse on Lake Mendota. 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 Yeah, that's the one. <clears throat> she turns around and goes to a shelf behind her and to the side and pulls out a depth map of Lake Mendota. Well, that's handy. She is effectively a librarian of her own little private library. <laughs> and she yeah. says, show me where on the map. I do. Where on the map did the tentacle touch you? <laughs> yeah, right about there. Yeah. So you indicate roughly where the tentacle touched you. That's white. I don't want white. I want red. That's about where the boathouse was. I agree. And Philip sa says, oh, you mean right here where the depth goes straight down to the bottom of the lake in a very sudden fashion? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that appears to be the case. Oh, oh boy. <clears throat> Can you describe this tentacle? Uh, not really. I didn't get a real good look at it, but it did seem to kind of be made out of some sort of um, shadow beasts. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, mm, she walks into the back room with the hidden, you know, the, the she walks through the bookcase or whatnot. I think, I think it was like... Yeah, she said this is not even a curtain. I think I think in fact there's like a spell on the doorway so that normies don't notice it. Um, she just walks straight through an illusory bookcase or something, and 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 it just looks like a My Little Ponies poster. Yeah, it looks like the porn the porn aisle in the in a video store, and no one wants to go in there. Um, she indicates that you should follow, and I she pull, she pulls out uh, a sort of like a, it looks like a, an encyclopedia britannica uh there's no label on the outside whatsoever um but she says this is 
<clears throat> a, a, a mage, mage history of the area, I guess. Oh, it's a sandwich. Oh. She she's guessing what? that it's a mage history, or do mm -hmm. you not want it, or yeah, just take a bite. If you oh, want. thank you. <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly. Um. Mm -hmm. So she hands you this encyclopedia. <coughs> she flips around a little bit, opens it to a, a certain page, and hands it to you, and says, "Start reading here." And then she walks back out to the front register. And All right. So this encyclopedia describes in fairly dry language. <clears throat> well, you know, give me an encyclopedic knowledge roll, first of all. Let's see how much of this you already oh, know. All right, let me look it back up. It is intelligence plus wits. Two successes. What you know with two successes is that um, half of Madison is built on top of Indian effigy mountains, like an unusual number of mass graves. And you also know that humans arrived in North America during the Wisconsin glaciation 50 to 17,000 years ago. And then smallpox wiped out most of the native population in the 1500s. Um, and anthropological records suggest that the population rose and fell several times with several near extinction level events and smallpox was only the most recent uh, this book fills in some of those holes uh, it suggests that humans weren't the only thing that migrated to North America during prehistory there was a large population of feral vampires that dogged them the whole way through Canada and then down into the into the rest of North America and preyed on them for centuries while they were trying to settle and eventually the vampires were so numerous and so primitive that you know during the day they would just swarm under the dirt to get away from the sun uh, and there was never enough space so bunches of them died in the sunlight <clears throat> And then at night, uh, they fed off of each other uh, and fed on humans, and they were just completely berserk. They were unable to die, and they were afraid to walk in the sun. Um, and then at some point, no one knows how, but in one day, uh, they were destroyed. They were all burned and torched by some, some sort of a cosmic effect. Um, but vampires are immortal. Uh, they're still there. Uh, lying under the ground in this sort of a geological vampire stratum beneath the city and its lakes. <clears throat> and the bones have all... Well, that's, that's what the encyclopedia says. Um, what? Okay. So there's a layer of vampires beneath our feet. <clears throat> there is a layer of dead, perhaps thousands or millions of dead vampires under Madison. Hmm. Well, that's different. That's going to be a problem. Okay. So, Philip has turned around again and she's watching you read. And she says, mm, my guess is that some of these things have migrated uh, clinging to each other under the muck at the bottom of the lake and, and maybe they were attracted to something that, that, that uh, caused them to come up so close to the surface what was going on there? Uh, well some emo nerds had been collecting corpses and they were like storing them in like the boat launch of the boathouse. Was there anything special about these corpses? Well, they seemed to be animated. They were trying to grab at us. 
Oh. And there was there was some sort of apparatus in the boathouse. It looked kind of like an electric chair, I think. Um, but we didn't really get a good look at it before we had to burn it down and destroy it with lightning. Oh. oh. I have one of their arms. <laughs> oh. She'd love to see the arm. Wow. Well, whip it out. So you open your bag. You look inside. There's a couple of limbs there. Uh, give me a wits plus composure roll. Okay, that is... Okay! I got five. Yeah, so there's the two limbs you put in there, and you also notice for the first time that the death book that you collected up in Canada... It appears to have nearly completely disintegrated. Um, many of the pages are still intact, but the book has been shaken to pieces. It's it's like a suspicious amount of damage that it's taken. Like, far more. I mean, you put it in that bag. You've been careful with the bag. You know, there's nothing you did to it that should have caused this, and yet here it is. Okay. So, you pull an arm out, and you hand it over to Philippa. Is that, is that what you do? Okay. She examines it and says, uh, well, she turns it over, and, and it's, 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 it looks like a fossilized uh, stone skeleton of a, of a human arm. It's cracked and, and physically deranged in several ways. There's There's... It's all dried out now. It was covered with muddy muck before, but now it looks like it's got little gnarled eyes and 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 uh, branches, almost like a tree, uh, growing out of it. Um, and she walks brazenly to the front of the store and tosses it out on the front yard. What the shit? And it catches on fire in the sun. Oh, vampire arm. Okay, mm, I I think we've got the mystery figured out. Yeah, so hmm. she's pretty convinced that that you've uncovered uh, uh, the vampire stratum is leaking. <laughs> okay, sweet. Yes. Hey, you want to see my flesh book? My, uh, furthermore, she says that her guess is that uh, yeah, so so somebody dunked some some death magic uh, animated corpses into the water and yeah it, it, it attracted something going on there attracted the uh the vampires they sensed the death magic and they clawed for it and uh and eventually arrived oh good that that sounds like something i have no idea how to deal with <laughs> <laughs> anything in there about how to deal with them flesh yeah, book <laughs> nah, you're speaking her language baby yeah, I got a flesh book. You want to see it? It's a little ragged. I, I could wait outside, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, yeah. What are you doing all this time? You just uh, along uh, for the ride reading I, the... I'm here, too. Um, I'm using my computer to sort of debug. I install the packet sniffer and just trying to figure out what, what those intelligences are doing. Okay. Why don't you give me a, an intelligence plus uh, computer's roll? All right. Let me see what that is. Sorry. Uh, there it is. Four. Two successes. All right. You install a packet sniffer and an electric fence and all the other interesting debugging tools you can think of. And... Uh, <clears throat> Um, a Windows dialog appears reading um, no we're over here and there's just one button that says okay uh, I click it I guess it disappears we're over here <laughs> Are they st have they stopped running now no, they're still running. Or they're, still, they're still going. 
Um, Another Windows dialog appears and it says, Brain.ini already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes, no. And then there's an OK button and a cancel button. Oh my. Um, I'm going to go with no. So you cancel the dialog and it disappears. Yep. The uh, the CPU utilization spikes suddenly and 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 you and then subsides. What well, why don't you give me a uh, gnosis plus computer roll? Okay, that's easy. Two successes. You get the distinct impression that something on your computer just laughed at you. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. All right. So, Albacore is showing his book to Philippa. Let me find yes. my notes. And just his book. book. And just his book. Just the flashy part. She uh, she immediately identifies the writing on the cover as some sort of an offbeat Atlantean dialect, and she asks if you're able to read it. I don't remember. I uh, think I could make out some of it, but I can cast a spell to read it. Oh, I have universal language. You should do that. All right, I'll roll mind plus gnosis. One success. All right, so you're looking over their shoulder, and you haven't really taken the time to look at this book yet. But as she carefully flips page after page and you know, <laughs> tries to avoid destroying this thing any more than it's already been destroyed. <laughs> you see not one language, but, you know, like many. Um, many languages. Um, would would uh, would you both give me a... Let's see, what's a good... Like, intelligence plus investigation plus uh, whatever your like, prime or uh, mind... Oh my! Oh, uh -huh. yeah, that's a, that's pretty good. I got four. So, with Prime, as as she's flipping through this book, uh, you know, you 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 find there's something. Something special about the way she's doing this. You looked at the book at one point, and 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 you you didn't really. Maybe you just know more magic now, or maybe there's something special about the way she is examining the book. But physically, as she turns from page to page, you are taking in more details than you did before. Um, and with Prime, you uh, you notice that the ink. On the page is varying in age. Uh, it's getting, you know, much, much, much newer as she flips. Uh, the, 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 it's like you're carbon dating the ink on the pages with your eyeballs as, as, as she goes. Um, okay. And uh, Timmy, with his mind magic, is just enhancing his ability to uh, take in some details on his own. And he can also read all of the languages, and that allows him to tell that, um, first of all, the handwriting is varying from page to page, so it's not one person writing in this thing over the course of eons. Um, and there are dates written in, like, 17 different calendars that you've detected so far. Um, and based on some of the first dates in the book, it's documenting at least three or four thousand years of sacrifices. Uh... And you would guess that, uh, based on the fragments here and the and the and the pile of dust underneath it, there were probably something like fifteen hundred pages total, and roughly two hundred names per page, so something like three hundred thousand potentially total written down here. Um, Jesus. And Philippa, she rolls too. Oh, two tens. Another ten. Four successes. Philippa. Mm, 
do you mind if I keep this for a while? I don't know. Why do you need to keep it? Further study. Uh, she's she's convinced. Uh. She's convinced that she can correlate some of the names and dates in this book with some other texts that she's got here in this store and and elsewhere in the city. Uh, and she's hoping to <clears throat> uh, tie some things together in some of the missing history, I guess, and and figure out. You know, it's possible that, for example, uh, uh, if if a cluster of names all disappeared around the same date as a um, a lost caravan somewhere, or a crashed merchant ship, or the fall of an empire, that that you know, this could enlighten this. This could be the reason the, these people killing all sorts of uh, humans. I mean, it may, she's looking. She's she's hoping to to draw some some correlations and some ties, and 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 you know, maybe become famous <laughs> can we can we work out like a, a temporary trade I'll, you give me a book on mana and i'll lend you that book and we'll swap these when we when you're done with it mm, i am all i'm 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 from the mysterium my friend we are all about collecting and sharing magical secrets and she walks into the back room again and pulls down not one, not two, but three books on the subject of mana and the collection and distribution thereof. She wants that book pretty bad, man. Maybe hold off. Hold off, for a, hold off for a better offer. She hasn't even like shown your tatas. <laughs> 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 no, I'm good. I'll, I'll take it. Three oh, God. Oh, God. Deal. Oh, and I no. give her a little wink. Oh, oh my! <laughs> the librarian, the librarian can't take it. All right, back to uh, Druby and Shale. You guys are are. All right. So, Fluke, what what the hell did she say she was affiliated with? She was we're, we're Guardians of the Veil. Vale. Asking Shale. Oh. Okay. Or Dewey. I probably would have remembered that. Probably. Great. So, Gordon. <laughs> do we know where these guys are headquartered in this town? Are you asking me or are you asking Shale? I'm asking you. He doesn't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, n no, you don't. You don't. You heard. Well, let's see. Let's see what you can remember. Well, because what's. Paradigm is what they are. That's the uh, the free council. Free council. They might know. Sure. If we don't know, then we should go there and find out. Because I have kind of an obsession with fluke, and uh, like I have an oath I've sworn against her, so I kind of want to find out what the hell the deal is with her. Okay. So we should. We want to. I want to go find some free council people and ask if they know who fluke is. If she's on the level, and also let them know that she's likely dead. You mean Guardians of the Veil people? Yeah. What did I say? Free Council? Damn yeah. it! I did. Why don't you I roll? Meant... Why don't you roll Intelligence plus Composure uh, to see if you can recall a memory? Ooh. I'm very tired because of all the. Sets, oh my god! But I did seem to remember a couple of things. <laughs> <laughs> Luke mentioned Madison, but you got a much stronger impression well, that she was from the Chicago met her area. In Madison, so yeah. that makes sense. Right. Correct. That's true. Um, you met her in Madison, and you heard her talk about civilized places when she was shouting at Kingmaker at one point, and she did mention Madison, but you got a distinct impression that, <laughs> she, that she is from Chicago. Okay. Uh, what else do you remember? You remember um, you either ask everything you, I've ever heard. You you either ask me <laughs> or like Echo or Echo Scarlatti or somebody. Uh, you did ask about Guardians of the Veil vale in Madison at some point, and uh, they 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 sort of deferred to Chicago as well. Um, Apparently, Chicago is 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 where the the hub of of Guardians of the Veil vale orchestration in the Midwest is. 
All right. Let's let's go back to Paradigm. And somebody's got to have a phone with some kind of like encrypted mage line we can call Chicago. Because we're probably not ready to head there today since apparently we've awakened all the vampires in the world. Here. And I still might be one. All right. <laughs> you might be. <laughs> so you, you head back to Paradigm Solutions. You, you regroup. I've never had a satisfactory answer of why I, was in, I couldn't see myself in that mirror. That is a mystery, isn't it? It is a mystery, and it's haunting me. Have you found a mirror recently? Yes, and I can see myself now, and it's weird. Oh, interesting. Okay, so, um, Tim and Albacor, I, do you leave Daydream and go to pick these guys up at some point? You knew they were hanging out around yeah. Camp Randall, talking to some... some info to tell them. Some uh, yeah, sure. Detective. Well, we drive, we drive back over to the Mickey's, I guess, uh, where we last. No, the, we're by... We're by the, here at Camp Randall. Uh, Camp Randall. Yeah, and, but we don't know that. It's true. Yeah, you you can call so Dewey. You, he has a phone. You, you, you pick oh, him up. Yeah. Hey, oh my God, phones! You can just communicate. That's amazing. We should somebody should get Honey Badger a phone. So you 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 meet up using your. We, 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 go, to, we go to the nearest Cricket Wireless. <laughs> yeah. You buy uh, some gold doubloons. We ever actually did we convert any of this? Gold that we have yet, or is it all just no, sitting it's in still the just under the secret? secret. Okay. Just <laughs> put, just put me on Dewey. Awesome. Plan. It'll be fine. You should you should totally get me on limited data though, because I'm going to look at dirty pictures. Whatever. <laughs> I, I was going to say get him a flip phone, <laughs> kind of for that reason, because it won't work. All right. So you pick up Honey Badger, the cheapest, shittiest local plan phone you can get your hands on with a local month, plan. With we drive all prepaid. over the damn North America. <laughs> you pay that for it. You pay for it with a with with a chunk of a gold doubloon. With a with a with a chunk of a gold bracelet off of a mummy's arm. Well, Walmart does have uh, like a gold guys type store in it, so that makes sense. Yeah, obviously. and then you drive over to Paradigm Solutions, and uh, you are. On the street where Paradigm Solutions is, um, and the morning sun is casting a shadow over the whole street, and getting out of his car at roughly the same time is Sodom. And he sees you arrive and, and, and walking toward him, and he says, Where the hell have you guys been? I drove out there to try and help you. You called him from the boathouse, and asked him for That's help. True. You asked we him. Did. You asked him to send the, the, uh, the SWAT team, and he told you, "No, sorry, you guys are the SWAT <laughs> team." And then he apparently left Valley High in charge at Paradigm Solutions and took off in his car. Hmm. Don't 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 you feel special? Wow. He likes us. Huh. So he really likes us. Did 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 what what do you think of the situation once he got there? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I saw the lightning strike. Oh. I didn't see much else, though. What was going on? I was mostly unconscious, so somebody else should regale him. Well, as you begin telling him the story... Yes. Uh, <coughs> let's see here. Where is it? <sighs> Damn it. There we go. Yeah. So as you begin telling him the story, um, you hear four meaty slapping sounds. And why don't you all give me a wits plus composure check? Oh, boy. Meaty slapping sounds? Four of them, <laughs> yes. Jesus One, three, four, and I'm Jesus. Com I'm composed as fuck. And Drew, can I have your dice? Yeah. <laughs> no, it, you know what? Unless there's a woman involved, I roll like a <laughs> god. <laughs> yeah. Typical. Uh, so the, you all notice uh, over Sodom's shoulder, the four meaty slapping sounds uh, were brownish, blackish arms reaching out 
from beneath his car and sort of grabbing the side. Um, hey, and, uh, hey, uh, hey, Sodom. Got something on your car. There's a, there's a thing. And something comes sliding out and uh. stands up next to his car. And it's a sort of a towering conglomeration of wet black limbs uh. Uh, that very closely resembles <coughs> what you were dealing with back at the boathouse. And that's where we'll leave it for this week. Let's pee on it. Let's pee on it. Yeah, if you pee on it, that should help. I, it's it's like a, a what do you call it? An octopus or jellyfish thing. Why don't you try to seduce it, Drew? I, you know what? Don't put it past me. It's a, it's <laughs> what it is. What it is is a stack of of uh, fossil vampires, uh, you know, uh, sort of just pushed together and 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 stuck together. It's not not burning. No, they're not. Well, they're, that's why I was very explicit about the shadow. shadow over the street. Yeah, that makes sense. An octopus. Peeing octopus up. don't sting. Jellyfish sting. <sighs> well, yeah. I, I got like I got octopus. lost when you started talking about peeing on stuff. I'm not sure where you were going with that. Well, Smoothie Cold commented that peeing on an octopus sting is useless. You're already dead. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I trust Smoothie Cold. That's probably where I fucked up. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, there you go. That's fair. Well, that's where we're going to leave it for this week. I'm going to stop streaming. Good night, YouTube. Oh, my. Good night. Good night.